When I went into politics, I went into politics because I wanted to represent my local community and because I wanted to be involved in changing policy and changing the direction of the nation. My number one priority will always be being the member for Adelaide, but also and I think in terms of my role as the Minister for Employment Participation, it's incredibly rewarding. It might not have the glamour of being out and about at sporting events, but in terms of the impact that you're having on people's lives, to be able to work to try and get people who are unemployed into work, um, to, f to find them jobs and to have a system which helps support that, um, th that really is affecting not just that individual's life, but their family and sometimes for generations to come. Just recently um, starting as the Minister for the Status of Women and it, I've just been, I guess, surprised in some way of how far I think we've still got to go and how big the task is when it comes to things like um, economic security for women. If you have a look at the percentages of people that are on the pension, for example, um, and you see that it is women in their retirement age who um, are, are struggling out there in, in a way that is not equitable at all. But also when you look at the levels of violence against women in our community as well, there's, there's really big jobs to be done there. Um, I, was, I was happy to, um, to, to change portfolios to have a, more of a focus on policy rather than events and activities because it meant that I can do that from Adelaide a lot more often. And I'm pretty happy um, from my point of view to be able to spend more time in Adelaide and more nights in my own bed. There are some times, of course, like anybody else, where um, you might take things to heart. But in the end, um, you've got to have a real belief in what it is that you're doing and why it is you're doing it. I find it really interesting that sometimes you'll have the media complaining about um, politicians all being the same or giving the same sound bites all um, you know, locked up in Canberra. Yet the moment that anybody breaks outside of that mould, then that's all people focus on. If you're going to stand up and stand up in front of your community, stand up in front of the nation in the parliament, then you've got to be confident and you can only be confident when you're being yourself. And if you're trying to dress like someone else, act like someone else, fit some sort of mould which isn't who you are, I don't think that you can effectively do your job. I don't know the answer to what I'd be doing if I wasn't in politics. I had the opportunity um, when I was first at uni, I thought that perhaps I'd want to end up working in foreign affairs. Um, Somewhere, and I'd always been really interested in um, in aid projects and issues and funding, and that's been a particular passion of mine. And about two years ago, um, during the middle of the last the last term, I had the opportunity to take holidays, and I wondered what I was going to do. And I thought, well, if if I'd always been thinking that maybe I'd like to work in aid, maybe I should take my holidays and go and do something like that. And people thought I was mad because I. Um, went and I volunteered for World Vision and went to India um, for two weeks and we went and visited um, the local projects that Australian World Vision sponsors were funding and um, you know we were visiting the slums of India we went and we did some work in the brothels in Delhi where there were kids um, mm -hmm. who were, were growing up in these environments you know really disturbing at times but um, also a really really good way to put your own life in, in context and realise what's important. I think in order to get the motivation to you know, get up at the crack of dawn, slog your guts out all day, well what inspires me to do that is knowing that you're actually really helping people. Sometimes it's just actually really little things but um, that's what really makes a difference and, and that's what makes me feel really good about, about my job. I, I received an email and I've still got it where um, it said that it had been out and um, we'd done street corner meetings with the local community that weekend and I got an email from, from a bloke on the Monday or Tuesday saying, um, Dear Kate, if you keep up your efforts to be so accessible um, and active to the local community, you might start to threaten my long-held cynicism in Australian politics. And um, it was just really sweet. It was like, if you're actually challenging people's cynicism and surprising people by putting an effort in, like, that made me feel pretty good about myself. Probably the question which, when I go and visit schools, um, you get asked, guaranteed every visit, is it does everyone that go into Parliament want to be Prime Minister one day? And um, the answer to that question from my point of view is actually um, a definite no. I'd like at some point to, um, I guess, have more work-life balance than, than Prime Ministers are ever able to have.